I recently hired an editor who claimed to have done work for several high profile YouTubers, but when I got my video back, the quality was garbage. The real tragedy wasn't the disaster of the video. It was the hours I'll never get back from onboarding, plus the hundreds I spent for the editor. It got me thinking, can I really find a YouTube editor who can work fast, produce good results, and is still affordable? And can I do it without spending weeks hunting them down, especially when I only have four hours available? So I decided to find out and uncovered something that really surprised me. Wow, that is not what I expected for what I spent. And I'm going to start the four hour timer now. Okay, it's time to find some editors. Last time I posted a job on Upwork, a very common freelancing website, I ran into a huge mess only minutes after hitting post on my job. I accidentally opened the job up to everyone. So I got a ton of applicants in the first minute, most of whom haven't even bothered to read the job description, and it was a total nightmare sorting through all that junk. So this time I'm going to make it invite only and only invite the freelancers who I believe would do a good job based on their profile and their experience. So I invited 10 freelancers who looked promising and will wait for their responses. All right, so far we're an hour in and only one brave soul, one freelancer applied for the job. And based on our discussion, I'm not exactly confident in this approach. The tricky thing about invite only is I don't know if these freelancers are still freelancers if they're readily available and online, I could be waiting forever for a reply and they could have totally dished editing to become a full-time avocado toast influencer or something. So let's go back, dare I say it, to the original strategy and blast the job application to anyone who wants to apply. Oh my God, well, at least it's an active platform. So what we're gonna have to do is sort through all these freelancers. We're gonna hire three freelancers today. One cheap freelancer, one moderately average price freelancer and one premium price YouTube editor to see which one performs the best. What makes this easier is you can actually select filters at the top based on the price and other things that you're looking for. So I'm going to set some cheap filters, moderate and expensive filters, go through their portfolios and see which ones we like. Wow, that's really cool. After sorting through the editors and having a few conversations, these editors really seemed to get what I was looking for. In fact, after a few brief conversations, I started three contracts, one for $15, one for $45 and one for $105. And I still have 30 six minutes left on the timer. The videos are ready to watch and just one day later all three videos were sent in on time. So let's see if you can get speed, quality, and affordability from an editing source that took under four hours. As we go through these videos try to guess who is our most expensive editor, the moderate editor, and the cheapest editor. And when we're going through all of those, I want you to be looking out for three things I asked specifically in the job description. And they were number one, animation. Make the messaging of the video seem more interesting. Number two, high quality. High quality images and text to make the video more professional. And three, the ability to problem solve. And let me explain that one. I might have thrown in a obstacle or a mistake to sabotage the editor editor so I want to see how they deal with that mistake at different price ranges. Who knew sabotage could be this fun? I requested the video be able to play on a loop. A lot of these shorts, they have them set up where the last few words of the last sentence can link to the first few words of the first sentence. So you can play the video on loop and it kind of makes the sentences still continue to go together. But what I did is I put the same exact words at the beginning and at the end. So if they don't remove those ones at the end, it's gonna seem like I'm repeating myself in the same introductory sentence. All right, here's the first one. We're going to watch it together and I'll share the feedback that I would have shared with the editors after I got this first video. So let's take a look at it. Here's how to go viral on YouTube and get more views. There's only three things YouTube looks for when deciding to promote your video or not. The first one is watch time. What is the percentage of the video that's actually being watched? If people are clicking your video and then going away from your video, that's not a good sign. You want them to stay until the end. YouTube, like any other social media websites, wants the users to stay on their platform. So if you can keep people watching your video for longer, YouTube will reward you with more views. The second thing is click-through rate. So click-through rate is how often do people click on your video when recommended that video. So what do they see? They see the title, they see the thumbnail, and the hook. How do you attract your audience? And number three, engagement rate. 
Do people subscribe? Do they like? Comment? What percentage of the time do they click your video and then watch the next video? All of these things will help your engagement rate. And here's how. All right, so what do we think? That one was decent. I would give it a C plus. And the reason I give it a C plus is some things I really like, music in the background, which helps, but also special effects sounds as different animations come up. Able to do is actually cut out a PNG of myself, like a silhouette and put the visual behind me. So that takes a little bit more effort. So you love that the editor did that. In terms of text, the texts were a little boring, although some of them popped up in the header. Most of the text across the bottom was just it changing by word and sentence so i think maybe you could focus in on certain words and do some more with that so the first editor editor number one i would give a c plus all right let's take a look at editor number two here's how to go viral on youtube and get more views there's only three things youtube looks for when deciding to promote your video or not the first one is watch time what is the percentage of the video that's actually being watched? If people are clicking your video and then going away from your video, that's not a good sign. You want them to stay until the end. YouTube, like any other social media websites, wants the users to stay on their platform. So if you can keep people watching your video for longer, YouTube will reward you with more views. The second thing is click-through rate. So click-through rate is how often do people click on your video when recommended that video. So what do they see? They see the title, they see the thumbnail, and the hook. And number three, engagement rate. Do people subscribe? Do they like, comment? What percentage of the time do they click your video and then watch the next video? All of these things will help your engagement rate. And here's how. Okay, so editor number two, what did we think? I think it's a step down from editor number one. And the, the reason I say that is A, there was music, but there was no sound effect. So there was no animation or transition where there was like a gust of wind or a ding when something happened. Specifically, it's 15 second gaps where there's no B-roll, it's just text on the screen. I think this needs some work. And yet again, on that last sentence, it's gonna say, and here's how, because last to first. So. Overall, I give this one probably a D minus, not a good video and definitely needs some work. It doesn't seem like the editor spent too much time on it. Okay, so let's move over to our last video. Last video is gonna be from editor number three. Here's how to go viral on YouTube and get more views. There's only three things YouTube looks for when deciding to promote your video or not. The first one is watch time. What is the percentage of the video that's actually being watched? If people are clicking your video and then going away from your video, that's not a good sign. You want them to stay until the end. YouTube, like any other social media website, wants the users to stay on their platform. So if you can keep people watching your video for longer, YouTube will reward you with more views. The second thing is click-through rate. So click-through rate is how often do people click on your video when recommended that video. So what do they see? They see the title, they see the thumbnail, and the hook. Click-through rate is if you have a five out of a hundred people who are presented click your video, you have a 5% click-through rate. How do you attract your audience? And number three, engagement rate. Do people subscribe? Do they like, comment? What percentage of the time do they click your video and then watch the next video? All of these things will help your engagement rate. Now that's what I'm talking about. That was a good short. Okay, so things we really like. First, second, there's a transition. So it grabs the audience attention right away. Animation with sound. So this animation comes up on the screen, followed by sound. And what I really liked changed where I was positioned. Some I was the full screen, some I was in the middle in a box. Sometimes I was at the bottom, just in a silhouette cutout. And I think that really helps the viewer be able to keep their eyes on the more important things that are actually being discussed. And then of those things are being discussed one thing that i really liked is the editor definitely did their uh due diligence of going to our youtube channel because they were able to find one of our thumbnails and one of our titles and then as we were speaking about each one of those feature them which in hope guides the viewer to more videos in the future and then best thing is it looks like they solved the looping problem if you play it on loop it's gonna end like all of these things will help your engagement right here is how to go viral on youtube and it continues to go and hopefully you can get more views per person. And now the final test that will surprise all of us. I posted each of these videos on my YouTube channel for one week so we can see how they perform. But first you're probably asking which video was priced cheap, moderately, and the most expensive. Can you take a guess? So video from editor number one, the one that we graded as a 
C minus was priced at $105. This video, the C minus, was our most expensive video editor, which I don't really think that level of editing was worth the price. I expected something more than that. For video number two, the one we graded a D or a D minus came in at $10. So that's a you get what you're paying for type video. They didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I also paid probably the cheapest amount that you could pay for a freelance editor for a one minute video, which leaves our last video, the one that I'm going to put it in first place, costing us the moderate price at $45. So I think we answered the question. Yes, it's possible to find a good, readily available, cheap, moderately cheap YouTube video editor in under four hours. But which one is going to get the most views? Let's take a look at video from our first editor, the one that cost $105. And this one, after a week on our YouTube channel, got 440 views. Okay, so not really great. 440 for a short isn't fantastic. Um, and that one was our C minus for $105. What about the next one? So the next one, editor number two, this one was the cheapest price one at $10. And that one got 89 views. Okay, so that's a you get what you pay for. The slightly better graded video got slightly better results. What about our best video so our favorite video video number three for $45 this one got us 1400 views that's what we're talking about that's good that that's pretty good for one week of being on YouTube am I surprised no not really one thing you have to understand about YouTube is you're gonna grow quicker the more content that you have available online to someone who watches one of your videos is gonna be way more likely to watch another one of your videos if it's done correctly and that's why it's most important to start making content but to be a able to make content faster and hopefully hit YouTube's monetization requirements much, much more quicker in your YouTube journey. And that's why you should check out these two videos where I explain five steps on how to make YouTube videos 10 times faster. If you're still around, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like. It really helps the channel grow and stick with us as we post 100 videos in 100 days. Talk to you soon.